How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I have recently upgraded my watch. Now of course, I still like the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. This thing is an amazing powerhouse of a watch and it just does a ton of stuff. But I was really interested in getting something else and trying something else, which of course you guys know, uh, I like the Tactic series as well. Really good watches. They just, when it comes to abilities, they have a ton of stuff and it's really nice for tracking and stuff, but I, I wanted something different. As in most of you would know, uh, I've also been a fan of, you know, traditional mechanical watches. This is not new. This is, uh, you know, a Seiko 5, which is a mechanical, which is super nice. Really enjoy this type of watch, but I kind of wanted something like this but more, I guess you could say iconic for me as in a watch that I've wanted for a while. And I finally went and picked one up. Some of you already know what this is because you're subscribers of the channel and kind of look at my social media. So you already know what we're debuting here. But for those of you who don't know, it is a marathon watch. And specifically, it is a watch I've wanted for a very long time, but I have not got. And that would be the GSAR. Now this watch has been on my list for a very long time. In my opinion, it is a very cool military watch. This was designed for the military and Marathon honestly goes back, you know, a long time, like World War I time frame of issuing um, field watches to folks and then continuing in subsequent conflicts and things like that. They've been in business for a very long time and ultimately, this thing is really, really nice and I enjoy it because it is simple. It is mechanical, but the one thing that it also does, as you can see in there, has it has tritium. So that means all the vials in here continuously glow for about 24 years. The half-life I think is 12 years of tritium and then they need replaced, but this is a constant glow. You don't need to charge it up with a flashlight or anything like that. Now, also one of the things I think is interesting is there's a bunch of reviews out on this watch and they're all very good, but I have yet to find a single review of actually an active duty military member using this watch in harsh conditions and then talking about it on YouTube, like how did it actually perform? And I don't know, maybe I just couldn't find it. I didn't look very hard into it, but that's what I'm going to provide all of you is an active duty military individual's mindset on this Marathon GSAR with, you know, specifically the rubber model or the rubber band and everything like that. So I've already done some night vision testing with this, right? Because everybody's worried, oh, can you see the tritium from a distance and kind of stuff like that. Granted, this is not a full review. I've been wearing this for a couple months now, just giving you my initial thoughts, and then we're gonna do a full review over this watch of me literally abusing it. And it's already been fairly abused in different conditions, cold, hot, you know, running around, you know, all kinds of stuff. So it's only going to get, in essence, worse from here. <laughs> so, Yes, so this is the purpose behind this is these watches over here, Garmin's are awesome and I still utilize these. I guess you could call me a nerd, but I typically wear a Garmin on my right and this on my left side just because I like the tracking features of sleeping and stuff. But a lot of times this will come off and for recently, this has been that go-to watch. So as you can see, this is a 50 millimeter um, bezel and then you can kind of see at the exact same plane. This is a smaller watch, which is fine. I'm used to bigger watches like this. And when I went to this, I was like, ah, it's kind of small, but it is a bit chunky. So um, I didn't notice it. It fits very nice on the wrist. Um, fairly expensive is kind of the downside of it. You were able to get these a lot cheaper. I know a lot of uh, wildland firefighters and stuff like that use this. Um, and as of 2019, I think this is actually a issued watch to the United States military. I think it's the Navy or the Marine Corps for specific um, duties and sections within that. They actually issue this watch out for certain people, um, which is pretty cool. At least the information that I got. 
So we're going to be putting this thing to the test. I want to see if it's actually worth it, you know, worth that price, because this watch actually only tells time and date, and yet it is more expensive than the most expensive Garmin Tactic 7 with touchscreen and ballistics built into it and everything like that. So yeah, it's a different style of watch. Some of your traditionalists, which I enjoy, and then some want all the crazy, super nice features, and then that would be this. But we're trying it out. Here it is. So done talking about it. If you're looking forward to my review on this, I'm going to be wearing this literally every single day for probably the next several months years of course we're going to do a review before that but i hope that this continues to be my daily watch because personally it's just super cool in my opinion and that's just my opinion i just like the look of it and it's simple and it's extremely rugged or at least so they say so we will find out so you guys are interested in that if you like marathon if you use marathon you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment in the description box below. I mean, there's tons of watch people out there and it's all preference. This is just mine right now. So this is what we're diving into. So want to see more of this, like, subscribe, go ahead and look at Patreon. I have updates on this thing all the time and other stuff. Of course, Patreons get first crack at everything because they see everything behind the scenes. And then we also are on Rumble now. So you can kind of see a little more pew pew stuff if you are interested in that kind of stuff the stuff that youtube doesn't like and is a little spicy you can go over there and take a look at that kind of stuff other than that let's see how it performs hope you all have a great day